Yo, what is going on guys, Mega Bears here, and in today's video I am back, um, finally, it's been, it's been like a week, um, not that long, but it feels like forever when you're used to the daily uploads. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you all for 1900 subscribers, we hit that just recently, at the time of recording this, we hit that like, I don't know, an hour ago or something, uh, that's really cool, uh, hopefully at some point this year I hit 2000. Uh, I don't expect it too quick, obviously my upload schedule has been trash, my videos aren't that, um, you know, I don't know how to word it, informative, maybe, well, entertaining, high skill, <laughs> something like that. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for that, and um, we're playing Mortar again, uh, you can probably tell by now, but um, I just wanted to stick with a deck I know that can beat all these mid-ladder decks. Um, up until we push up a little higher. Obviously, at this level, and since it's been a few days in the season already, we're going to face a lot of weird decks, um, like Musketeer Skarmy, for example. Um, so this deck I know can handle that, so that's why I'm using it. Um, there was something I wanted to say, and I was getting ready to say it that whole time, but I had to say other stuff first, and now I have no idea what I was going to say. Um, well, anyway, um, yeah, I'll try to get back to daily uploads. It's going to be a little difficult. Um, I am starting school again. Um, I mentioned that a lot, and I'm also going to be working now full-time. Um, not in anywhere with where my degree is, but uh, at some point you need money, and you just have to accept that you're going to have to get a job that's uh, maybe even a little embarrassing or something you don't like. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, obviously you could have more pride than me and just say um i'm gonna keep applying uh until i finally land something that i actually want which i i'm not i'm not saying i don't recommend that if you have um the time to like apply for like a few months or even a year i've seen people take two years um stuff like that i've seen all those actually happen uh, if you have that kind of time do it um but you know if you have to get a job as like I don't know, a janitor or a, you know, stalker or, you know, something in retail or something like that. I don't think it's worth being embarrassed about, um, you know, there, there is some respect to be had no matter what you did because you are working, um, in general, whether that's for your family, for yourself, um, to pay your rent, whatever it is, uh, you know, you can take pride in that. Um, I am rambling again. I always go on these rants, but yeah, GG's to that guy. These games are going to be pretty easy, but um, just wanted to get a video out. So yeah, GG's, and I'll see you guys in the next match. Um, it's a kind of a funny little player card thing. I haven't looked at those in like the last three seasons. I don't know if there was any cool or not. That one looks kind of fun. Though. This guy just hogged in the back first play. And he's got Goblin Gang. There's no telling what this is. And Goblin Barrel, of course. And Freeze. <laughs> Log Bait, Hog Freeze. Um, it, so my strat here, um, he's down a lot of Elixir. He's going to have to play something on the Knight. And as soon as he does, I'm going to Queen, Pop Ability, hopefully take his most of his tower. Um, yeah, he's just spent another 5 elixir there, and he was already down a bit, I believe, so it's good to get a ton of damage. I probably pop the ability too early. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, because he's not defending it either way. I uh, kind of wish the guards just went for the hog, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to try to defend it a little bit with Ice Spirit and Miner. I'm not sure we need the Ice Spirit, so maybe a bad Ice Spirit. Um, now we're probably down a bit of elixir, so we got to be careful. Um... But the odds of me being able to defend this consistently isn't too likely. I always play my knight down there. I don't know why. I should probably play it in the middle of it. That way it soaks up all the damage instead of letting that outside spear goblin get hits. But I guess both outside spear goblins get hits. I wouldn't think the one on the right um, would, but I guess it did. I don't understand that. Um, maybe I misplayed it somehow. Anywho. Um, so yeah. What was I rambling about? Oh, the work thing. Yeah, I don't think it's worth being embarrassed about uh, your job because, you know, you know, there's people that, you know, still are either living at home or just have no job, stuff like that. And, you know, it, it's better to be a step above that and take a job that you don't maybe like or maybe you're using it as a gateway to do stuff you like on the side, maybe like uh, graphic design, YouTube, anything like that. 
So you don't always, you don't have to get a job that you know you feel is respectable. Um, you can always just use it as a gateway, um, as well as your degree. Uh, I was rambling about this last video, so I'm going to touch on it a little bit again. Um, degrees matter to an extent. Um, I was talking about this in my last video. Um, you know, uh, so maybe you feel like you got the wrong degree or whatever, or you know, you don't know what to go into, and just the odds of your the degrees are like, I don't know how to, how to word this right, uh, I keep changing how I want to say it, but degrees are like a prerequisite they expect everybody to have at this point. Um, for any decent job, everybody expects you to already have a college degree, and it doesn't really matter what it's in. Um, a lot of teaching jobs, um, for example, I mentioned this before, if you wanted to teach English, you just need a bachelor's degree in anything. I believe there is desk jobs that require some sort of similarity, maybe even something in like finance. I'm not positive on that, but the point is um, you can get jobs by simply just having a degree regardless of what it's in. Um, and I don't think it's worth stressing about too much. Um, you know, I am finishing computer science. Computer science is insanely competitive. And the odds of me landing a job in that field, not very likely, especially for where I live. Um, but I will have a degree. I'm just going to finish it out instead of restarting something completely. So I'm going to finish it out and I'll have a degree and that'll open up jobs for me um, that I like, um, but isn't, you know... I'll talk about it more in the next match. <laughs> GG's. So, with my degree, while I'm applying to computer jobs and remote jobs, which are insanely, insanely competitive, I actually plan on going and teaching English. Um, so that's how I'm using my degree. I recommend looking for something like this, um, or just jobs in your area that only require bachelor's degrees or only require some sort of degree, um, but isn't necessarily in your design field, um, as well as um, looking at, you know, companies where you can start off with something like simply um, very beginner level and then, you know, maybe move up later. Internships are obviously great if you can find them. It's hard to find some in your area unless you're willing to relocate. Um, I also mentioned that I would recommend looking up... Um, uh, you know, what jobs are actually available in your area, something college or high school or anywhere never tells you to do, but it's really important because if you really want to be a, um, I don't know, crim uh, not criminologist, what's it called? Um, <laughs> forensic scientist, there you go. Um, yeah, the odds are you're not going to find a job in that, or at least very likely. So, you know, you might have to find backup options or just see what jobs are available in your area and go for something a little more realistic. Um, that's my whole point. Um, look for things that are actually realistic and available. Um, not to say whatever your dream job is isn't realistic, so you shouldn't go for it. You definitely should. You know, get your degree in what you want. Um, work towards what you want. But have a realistic mindset that that's probably not going to happen right away. Um, you're going to have to work even after college, whether that for anybody going into computer science like me. If you want to do IT, you're probably going to need a bunch of certificates, a lot of basic... Um, computer jobs that aren't even in your field just so you have some experience on your resume um stuff like that how, how did i become a a college advisor or like somebody to advise people on how to land jobs i don't know how that happened um it's kind of it's kind of funny that's all i talk about lately but i really want to like help people out that were in the situation i was in or i'm currently in because it's really annoying because colleges kind of jump around it uh, and you might be like why do they do this and the reason is uh money 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 um colleges want money and do they care if you had to go back and get a new degree or do they care if you know, you don't find a job in your field. Are they going to be brutally honest with you? No, the teachers are there to teach. Um, some of them might care enough to guide you, but, you know, some teachers are just there to get their paycheck. Obviously, that is the case with any job. And, you know, most teachers aren't like that, but there are exceptions to that. And that's going to be an exception in every job. There's going to be people that don't really care too much about their job. They're not going to help you. Um, advisors, they might... Um, my advisors were really rude to me the whole time, so um, that's why I'm trying to give my advice now. Um, I'll talk about it more in the final match. I don't know why this became a thing. Anyways, GG's to this guy, and I will see you guys in the final match. 
All right, so I don't want to talk about this for like a lot of videos because people who are new to the channel are going to be like, why is he just talking about college and jobs? Um, I'm not going to ramble about this forever, but my last, I'm just going to jumble all up everything I've said so far and give you my final advice, um, hopefully, unless I, somebody asks a question or something. Um, but so what I recommend. Um, first and foremost, look for jobs in your area. Uh, go on Google, go on Indeed, go on job boards, um, you know, and look for jobs that are actually available in your area if you don't want to relocate. If relocating is not a huge issue with you, it's not going to matter too much to do that. But I don't really want to move um, away um, very far, at least. Uh, so relocating is kind of just something I don't want to do. So if somebody should have sat me down and told me, look up jobs in your area, see what's hiring, um, see what's super competitive. Um, and you know, from, I live in a small rural, I struggle with that word, a small rural city. So computer jobs, few and far in between. It's very hard to get. Your best option would be a school district. Obviously super competitive. Everybody wants to work there because um, it's easy and it pays well. Um, so um, you kind of have to bite the bullet on that and see what else is hiring. Um, and if you find nothing else, you know, after you get out of college, the odds of you landing a job in com relating to computer science, for my example, um, is very unlikely. So does that mean I should switch? Not necessarily, but that means I should look for alternatives um, um, to that because for a while I won't be able to get a job and do I want to live with my parents my whole life? Uh, preferably not. So I just need to look at other alternatives, maybe stuff that only requires a bachelor's degree. Um, depending on what you want to do, you could find coaching jobs. Um, you know, there's substitutes um, for pretty much everything regarding a school, custodians, teachers, um, you know, even just like study hall teachers, stuff like that. No degree required at all. Um, there's also, as I mentioned, online teaching, maybe some like banking finance stuff where you wouldn't require um, anything. There's obviously freelance stuff if you're good enough with it um, at marketing yourself. But uh, yeah, and you can use it. You can use your bad job or job you don't like for example if you had to take a job at walmart to be a gateway um, keep applying during that process and just wait until you actually can land a job in the field you want um but also you can look at ways to boost um, your potential of landing a job for example there's stuff like coding boost camp certificates stuff like that um, i need to get all this out before the game ends and other than that your degree doesn't matter too much i wouldn't stress about it too much do something you enjoy but just understand that every degree is going to have an up and downside um, good degrees are competitive um are like very popular degrees are competitive and unpopular degrees aren't really too much wanted or valued but it will be a gateway because you can say you had a bachelor's degree um so I think, <laughs> I think I've said it all. Um, but just have realistic goals for yourself. Understand how you're going to do stuff. Understand that jobs don't come free after college. Understand that your bachelor's degree isn't going to matter too much. You can see we went 4-0 today. Um, yeah, obviously 5-0, and um, considering the game I played offline. Really weird deck that one was. Um, anyways, so this was the Mortar deck, and I kind of wish I tried out the... Well, let me just uh, go show it real quick. The Dagger... Lady, I do have her level 11, so I could have used her in League 1. But anyways, GG's to everybody I played. I hope this video was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.